Hi, if you've been following the um, social media updates elsewhere, not on YouTube, uh, you'll know that my bike got nicked. It was uh, stolen and trashed. Um, it looks okay now, I know, but there's actually a lot wrong with it. Most of it is, um, is electrical. Um, so I've got to wait until the 16th of, uh, of uh, next month, 16th of June, before that can even be looked at. Uh, meanwhile, I've been like kind of um, replacing some of the stuff they trashed. For example, like they took the panniers, you know, the existing panniers, they, they cut them out, they cut them off. Um, and so I've, I've got these, which are actually better panniers, uh, and they, they nicked the top box. Again, I've got this, which is like really nice. I'll show you it more closely in a minute. Um, that matches these. Uh, and again, it's better than, than what I had before. So that's, that's kind of good news, yeah? Um, problems, yeah. I mean, um, they... Okay, I'll, I'll just I have to move the camera now. Hang on. Well, okay. Um, as you can see, they, uh, they mullered the, uh, the mud god. You can see that they just hacked it off, so... The rear light and the indicator's gone. Um, so, new mud guard. Um, well, yeah, when I say new, um, it's from a scrapyard. Uh, it's, it's matte black, it's not gloss black, but what the fuck, it'll do. Um, here we have a new light, which is great. You know, I got that from the UK, I was lucky, but I've got, got to wait for something to come from Poland, which is like a base for that. I've ordered that from Krakow, a chrome base for that. Um, and then I've got all the, when I find them on eBay or somewhere, the, um, the, the indicators, yeah? Um, so yeah, it, it's actually a lot, a lot of hassle, but it also looks a shitload better, I think, than it did before. Um, I mean, if you just look at this setup, it's fucking lovely, isn't it, really? Not that it, was, you know, it wasn't bad before, but it's even better now. Um, as you see here, I've got, a, I've got a second GoPro here, so there'll be one on my helmet and I'll be using this as well. Uh, you can attach the, the, this clamp to anywhere on the bike at all. So you can take, you know, you can like shoot kind of from that angle, from, you can shoot from the back, you can shoot, you know, backwards. This, right, this is part of my Uber Eats setup, uh, but I'm going to keep that going anyway. It's really useful because uh, I'm going to have my iPhone here this time. They nicked the phone, um, the, the phone holder, but they didn't nick the phone because it wasn't there. So um, I'm going to have, I've got my TomTom -tom here on this side. I don't know. I think they've knuckled the lock on that. I'm going to have to see what to do. I, I, I think you'll be okay, but um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but anyhow, yeah, that's just the, the, the mount I'm talking about. The actual GoPro is fine. Um, I'm going to have here, I've, I've got a new, uh, um, was it Huawei? Yeah, the, the um, Chinese phone. Uh, brand new. Well, when I say brand new, uh, uh, I bought it yesterday, but it's not brand new. It's, it's new to me. Um, that was like 80 quid. Uh, it is a P, uh, Huawei P30 Lite. Yeah, so apparently the, the, the camera stuff is really good on those, so I'll be using it for that. Um, yeah, so I'll have that here um, for, the, for my elevation app, my elevation, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then next to that, um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to kind of position them and set them up here. But next to that, uh, obviously not um, getting in the way of the controls here, uh, I'm going to have the, um, the uh, iPhone, which is what I need to do Uber Eats. That's the Uber driver app. So I'll have the probably have the Uber driver app here, driver app here, and have the um, and then somewhere I don't know. Maybe here, maybe here I'll have the uh, elevation app. Um, it's getting a bit crowded, but I don't want it back down here. I, li I like seeing the dials, even though I don't use them that much. Um, well, I do. I use that one. I use the one on the right, you know, for the revs. But uh, I've actually got uh, a speedometer, which will and loads else are on that. You know, it tells you the speed you're going. Um, it tells you where the speed cameras are, tells you the speed limit on the road you're in, which it normally gets right, though not always. Um, yeah, mileometer. I, I, look, I don't only look at that, obviously, when I get off of the bike. Um, all this stuff here is just the fingerprinting. That's the forensics um, when they've been going over it. So, the, so, so all that stuff is just um, is to do with the police. It's nothing to do with me. Um, so yeah, let's have a look from the front. See, it, it don't look too bad. I mean, there's... Yeah, you know, you know the thing, uh, the rubber pad came off of here, but that, that was knackered anyway. Um, really, I think it's pretty cool. Because, uh, you know, there's no, there's no bent forks or anything. Um, nothing major that I can see that's wrong. Obviously, the electrics are going to need to be completely overhauled, uh, which isn't like kind of uh, ideal because I've got to wait for it. And also, if it needs a new loom, it's going to take ages uh, for them to fit it. And that's extra expense as well. So I'm hoping it won't need a new loom. 
Yeah, as you know, I did um, all the electrics on my e-bike myself, um, and uh, that follows a, a, a short video, um, well, a short clip, uh, which I did the other day when these uh, side uh, bags appeared, and you can see the, you know, compare, compare the two, compare these, uh, you know, the current setup here with, with one on the e-bike. Okay, I'm just recording this um, while the uh, while the radio's on, but I'm avoiding um, copyright issues, so I've got I've got to speak fast um, before the pull record on. Yeah, this is my e-bike, and you can see the uh, you can see the panniers on that. Well, these are the new panniers for the motorbike. Um, considerably larger, um, and they look more like the originals. You know, that have just been ripped off by the thieves. Um, but yeah, what I'm thinking of doing, you see these bars here, these protective bars? I'm thinking of getting some of those um, attached around the side here um, to the existing um, mounts, you know, for the old panniers, because they'll, you know, they'll fit these no problem. They're actually about this, this long. They're about 16 inches long. Um, so these are slightly, you know, you've got these protruding at either end. Um, and also this will cover the, um, the side, um, the seat will come to about here. So where it says keyway on the back, on the passenger seat, um, these will cover that, but then I can put a tent on the top and, you know, I've got a um, 10 kilo tent that will go between the two because they will, of course, be like that. They'll be positioned like this, yeah, so um, I'll have a tent on the back seat along here. Sorry about the alarm. <laughs> um, yeah, this is my new, I've got loads of trains on the bike now after that, but this is a good one. This one's... Um, <coughs> See, that's like uh, about four kilos, um, 1.8 meters, 10 millimeter hardened steel. Um, so that's like four trains I've got on the bike now. I've got grade 10 locks on it. Um, you know, I mean, I've got other stuff as well, carrying disc lock and things. Okay, I'm sorry, I've got to go now because there's pipe music on. I yeah, there's lots of locks here and there's lots more coming as well. I've got, I've got loads of trains. Uh, there's some upstairs as well. Uh, some really heavy trains, heavy locks. Um, I've got all the security you could possibly hope for. Disc, lock. I've had, disc brake lock I've, I've had to replace. I didn't have it on when it was stolen. And that's because neighbours tend to complain because of the noise when they're alarmed. So I've got one which isn't alarmed. But what I do have up here, you see, is a security camera. Now they bypassed that last time by parking. It was parked on that corner, yet, yeah? and, uh, and it was a high-sided van. So, uh, and they parked right next to it. So they'd seen that camera and they knew what they were doing, which is like real fucking crafty in it. But uh, it was all planned, you know, I, I was actually there when it happened at, at one in the morning. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I had time to like, just, I just had time to put my clothes on and put my contact lenses in uh, and get downstairs uh, to hear the van being, you know, being driven off with, with the bike inside. Uh, they used tools to get through the trains, um, but these, these trains are actually stronger, uh, quite a lot stronger than the ones. Uh, that were on it before. Uh, it has a disc brake lock as well. Um, and it has a, well, I've bought a tracker. Uh, so there will be a track, at least one tracker on it. Uh, I've got a couple of trackers actually. I've got another one coming in as well. So I don't know whether I'll use one or both or whatever. I haven't decided yet, but I'm doing everything I possibly can to keep this bike and stop people from fucking trashing it. Because you know, previously uh, there was a guy just r ripping the studs out. Now what have they done? They've ripped out the whole fucking, you know, you know both panniers, both panniers. But hey, I mean, don't, doesn't that look really fucking cool? Uh, it does to me anyway. And so, so, I mean, I mean okay. Um, when go, going camping, going camping, yeah. Uh, I'll have um, in between these two, there'll be a double mattress all rolled up and well, not you know, the inflatable ones is it's an inflatable one, it will occupy all of that space. Um, and then on top of that, I'll have a massive tent which you'll have seen in a previous video, maybe. Uh, that's a family tent, um, which fits the bike in the, in the porch area in the front. Um, that's it, it's about 10 kilos. Uh, that will sit on the top, uh, here, and then on top of that, I'll have my uh, my mat book. Uh, and stuff and then I have a rucksack on with, with with other stuff in it and loads and fucking mega space you know I mean I mean I mean inside these things are great you know this has even got pockets in it uh, you've got five pockets on the uh, well, sorry you've got five areas if you include the main part here uh, on each side so you've got 10 uh, 13 cut the one inside 14 14 different uh, things plus you uh, there'll be storage in the um, in the mobile phone um, cases that, that, that I get you know there'll be two of those um, so yeah, uh, shan't be uh, stuck for storage at all. Um, yeah, it's just a shame that it doesn't move yet, you know, because it's going to take a while to uh, 
to sort it all out. Anyway, the other thing, um, I can't be bothered taking that off now, but um, yeah, okay, I'll just put a picture up here on the left of the screen, right? If you look now, uh, up to the left, yeah, you'll see what the bike was like um, just after it was stolen. Now, if you see the area here, uh, what, what it looks like now under, underneath all of this. What I'm going to do, you'll see there's like a metal plate. I'm going to paint that red and then I'm going to get like Sister Company in white uh, over that. And then I'm going to get like uh, music, uh, star, you know, asterisk in between motor vlogs. Um, and then I'm going to, for the windshield, um, which is like what a lot of motor vloggers do, I'm going to like uh, have Sister Company across here. Yeah. And then underneath, uh, well, they'd have their sponsors and stuff. I'm just going to have the links to all the sister company sites, like sister company bands, and then you know, you know, that's music. So uh, there's loads. Uh, I, I mean, there's about four or five different links I can put that, uh, plus the name on the top. Uh, don't want to put, put too much explanation because people haven't got time to read it, uh, and also it's quite small, isn't it? You know, you, you're not going to be like uh, going around with um, flags and things, you know, advertising yourself. But everyone does it. Everyone's got doing it. So I'm going to do the same. Um, yeah. Anyway, that that's the situation. Um, I just can't stop looking at it. Sorry, I can't. I can't believe that after what they've done to it, um, it's going to look like you know really so, so, so not spectacular, but it looks as good as a fucking Harley. You know now it does with all that stuff on it. Now it looks as good. It, obviously, it's not going to perform anything like uh, a Harley. Not not even a uh, an eighth of a Harley you know it's like um it is really not the best uh, performance wise it does 70 miles an hour but uh, you know it's it, it's not I mean the torque is non-existent it's absolute rubbish uh but it will get me up some hills and I'll have an elevation uh app and obviously when I've dropped the stuff up at a hotel um, um like next week I'm going to be in a hotel probably be staying in similar places um over the summer and campsites um once the stuff is is dropped off it's going to be really light because it's, it's, it's not going to have the um so what's it? It's not going to have any luggage on the back at all. Um, it won't even have the existing panniers, which were really not that good um, in as much as. Um, they had a flap which came over like this one, yeah? Um, if you remember them. In fact, yeah, okay, picture on the screen now. Picture on the screen now. You can see what it was like before uh, with the panniers, yeah? Now, uh, what, was, what was really annoying about those panniers was that, you know, if I got an Uber Eats um, delivery for shopping, say, you know, Sainsbury's or Tesco, you're going to have like six shopping bags, huge shopping bags, right? Um, and it was really difficult for because you, I mean, I have a, like, uh, a big um, backpack as well, which would take two, you know, two or three loaded bags, uh, plus all the spaces and shit that's inside it. Um, but also, um, you know, this one's got, You've got space for at least one, maybe even two shopping bags in there. Uh, the main area here, one or two, um, that's for trains and, uh, you know, stuff, you know, just motorbike stuff in the top here. Uh, and, and others, yeah, you know, just peripherals. If you're really desperate, yeah, sure, um, can use these to, you know, take things out of the bags. But it means I'm going to be able to do big sh supermarket drops as well now, um, which I've done a few times and I stopped doing because it just wasn't possible. Car drops, uh, they're not on. Whereas with this setup, absolutely. You know, if I do Uber Eats with this setup, there'll be no problem taking like light car loads. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it, it's not that naff because it will take a passenger. Um, you know, so whatever you're going to put in the back there. If it weighs more than a passenger, sure, yeah, they might, they might slow it down a bit uh, beyond uh, what you're supposed to. But really, um, you know, the, I think it's going to be cool. I just don't know how much it's going to cost now uh, to fix it. Okay, love you and leave you. Uh, please subscribe and yeah, um, see you later.